Okay, so you're with Cowboys for Trump. Tell me about your organization and what are you wearing? That's very stylish and I know it's kind of cold out. You know, Cowboys for Trump, it's grassroots as grassroots gets it. It started with just a simple idea of 12 cow 13 Cowboys riding horseback from Cumberland, Maryland to Washington, D.C. to show support for our president. So that's what we did. We knew our president was going to come under the gun on the, on the 15th of February. We knew that he was going to be faced with a tough decision for border security. And we wanted to... We wanted to go the extra effort, fly out from New Mexico, which nine of us did, from st a state that's affected by the border, and uh, ride through the snow and the freezing rain and the elements, flying our Make America Great Again flags, our New Mexico flag, our American flag, to show support for our president. So the ride took about eight days, covered about 170 miles roughly, and uh, it was awesome. We had a good, good, tough group of guys out. We finished the DC ride by riding through the, the city of D.C. We had a, a, a police escort by the Metro Police and the Park Police. They shut intersections down and, and uh, it was great. So one of the Cowboys that's with us, uh, Ramey Harper, he built the president a, as nice of a hat as money can buy. And uh, we wanted to take that hat to the president as a symbol of uh, a token of appreciation from our community to his. And, and as being cowboys, there's nothing any more fitting to, to bring the president than a cowboy hat because I guarantee you he may be uh, he may be from New York, but he's got the heart of the heart of the cowboys. So we wanted to bring him that hat to show him we appreciated him. Uh, it didn't work out where we were able to get the, the president the hat. We had plenty inside that were wanting to come out and take the hat to the president. We said no. If anybody's going to give that hat to the president, it's going to be us. So we went ahead and took that hat with us. We left D.C. Um, we flew back to El Paso. As soon as I got to El Paso, we leased horses that we used in, in the Air, in Maryland area. So as soon as I get back to uh, El Paso, my, my phone dings. It's uh, Fox and Friends and Times Square. They want us to go on the show. So I got on the horn with the with the, the horses, I pointed them back to Manhattan, and uh, five of us jumped on a, a, a flight, and, uh, and we headed out to Times Square, put on Fox and Friends. After that, uh, we parted once again, and I got a call from the President of the United States in Newark, New Jersey, and he was wondering about his hand. So, are you guys going to go see the President again later on this year? Absolutely. Um, you know, the President invited us back into the White House. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> the President invited us back into the White House uh, whenever he got wind of what we were doing. And he apologized. He said, Coy, if I would have known you guys were, were coming, I would have welcomed you into the White House. We'd have, we'd have got to know each other. I said, sir, I said, I've got to get back to New Mexico. I've got an important meeting. But I told the president, I said, but this summer we'll pick some more days out and we'll bring you that hat. And the president responded with, he said, that would be amazing. Coy says, if you guys will do that, I'll have the south lawn. There's about 20 acres and I'll have the gate open and you guys can ride right into the White House. So now you told me earlier that event. you told me earlier that you want cowboys riding in from all 50 states. Absolutely. The, Whenever I get back to my home state of New Mexico, we're, we're fixing to organize a ride into Santa Fe on March 12th. And uh, on that ride, we're going to have our core 13 guys, but we're also inviting a bunch of other cowboys to ride with us too. We're going to ride through the city and at the end, at the, through our capital, at the end of the ride, we're going to begin our first state chapter of Cowboys for Trump. After New Mexico is established, we're going to go to Texas. From Texas, we'll probably go to Oklahoma. And we're going to establish state chapters in each of the 50 states. But why we're doing this is because whenever we do our big ride this summer or possibly fall, I want to have a representative from each one of those chapters of the 50 states carrying their respective flags. And whenever we ride into Washington, D.C., I want to ride into the White House with our core group of 13, but also with 50 behind us of each flag, of each flag or each respective state. If somebody wanted to sign up for that, where would they go? You know, uh, we're just getting our organization right now as we speak. I'm getting an app built. I'm getting a website built. I've got Aisha Love. She's She's been great helping me to get the right people on board to get infrastructure to this. So 
right now, technically, we only have a Facebook page, Cowboys for Trump. Um, so they can go there. They can go there and click on cowboysfortrump.org, and, and uh, that will point you to our stuff as well. Thank you very much. We appreciate you doing this. And how was the ride in cold weather? I know you guys rode quite a bit, and uh, you didn't pick the warmest time of the year to do it. No, but uh, you know, in our in our community, uh, in the cowboy culture, whenever you commit to something, you get it done. You don't weaken, and, and that's what we did. You know, we went out there to ride to Washington D.C. starting on the 15th. We knew we were going to hit some weather. We knew things were going to get rough, but. Uh, in our, in our community, we say cowboy up and get her done, and that's what we did. On behalf of the American people, thank you for cowboying up, and uh, we'll see you this summer when you, when you ride in the heat. Yes, sir. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, sir.